So, I wanted some Larspiration, right? Because this is a new character I'm checking out, yada, yada, yada. I wanted to see what this guy's even kind of like. I came across this video because the, the Lars video was just uh, up everywhere on YouTube and I didn't click it. This popped up and I put it to the side. I saw this dude playing in some tournaments recently and his name is Justice Soul Tuna. And I started this video for 30 seconds. It's like, okay, I need, I need to watch this. Hmm? No way you're getting the wall from this. No friggin', no way. No way. Okay, I was about to say. God damn, you're not dead, are you? You're actually dead? Oh! Oh! This is the entire stage, dude! Uh, stupid, 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 stupid. The f really stupid. Uh, he went to the gap. Not bad. Not the worst. Stupid. The f There's some dumb shit in here. Yeah, I don't trust. I don't trust Tekken players' taste. Tekken players will look you dead in the eye and tell you uh, Devil Jin is dope. And then say Lars is stupid. Crouching forward, one plus two is a great low. That's the one I was looking for. Okay, I'm like, where are these lows? Yeah, like this one. And isn't there an attack that leaves them naturally in a crouching state? Like, oh God, I found that. How about this one? Oh, that does do something. You probably get something after that, okay. Oh, things are happening. So you pretty much, uh, I think I remember this. You always can get one of these, like off any launcher. It like picks up off the ground, right? Ah, I keep holding forward. I gotta remember if I hold, if I keep forward held, he goes into wacky bullshit. <laughs> Damn, boy! Damn! Oh, uh-uh, uh-uh. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Yeah, he's not, he's not doing it. Sometimes he takes the step, right? Beep, beep, boop, beep. Hey, there we go. I got three in a row. Anyway, let me get, let me get my head out of that or I'm gonna be doing that <coughs> for a fucking hour, chat. Stop it! Uh-uh, uh -oh. Uh oh, oh, think, 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 think. Oh no, too late. Cool. So after forward uh, one plus two, do down forward two, down back two, one, down forward two, one. Okay. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Oh, man. Oh, buddy. Oh, man. There's a lot of, like, moments to Lars combos where you gotta go, uh, uh, stop. Uh, you know? That's how I gotta describe Lars. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> then you do a big thing. Uh, and then you, like, slide into those DMs a little bit more. Eep. Eep. I have 88? Wow! It keeps getting higher! Holy goddamn! Beep! Beep! Ninety-two! Oh my god, a little bit more damage! Grab Ender's not optimal. Yeah, but though. Right, not I, I feel like if you're playing fighting games optimally, you're having no fun. There's zero fun in your life. Nothing is fun to you. The only thing that's fun to you is winning against other people. Everything else in life has become dull and dry and meaningless. I take a shower only to clean my body. I enjoy nothing of this. I am optimally, I'm optimally experiencing a shower. Back to my optimal combos. Bam! Ow! That's 
That's so sick, though! Hey! Get over there! Bam! Ugh. Shit! You can also do back three, four. What the hell's that? Oh. Well, that's some good, that's some good screw shit, right? Man, that was easy. Holy shit. Let's go to an infinite stage. I just kind of want to see how far he can go. Excuse me. Hell, Devil Jin. Put all that armor on. I'm going to smack the shit out of you. Back three, forward one. Hey, there's so much. Oh, it's you, Soul Tuna. Shit. <laughs> I used your videos as inspiration. I'm like reading this combo. I didn't even see the person that was saying it. Uh, yeah, well, it was literally using your uh, your goddamn videos as inspiration to, to fire up the character. Because <laughs> for a second, I'm like, is this bullshit? I'm looking at the message history of this guy. This doesn't even fucking work. <laughs> so this is bullshit. Ooh, cool. I just have to make sure I keep forward held. I can't do, if I move to down forward, I, I literally get entry or some weird shit. That one's, that one's pretty easy to me now. Now that I've gotten it once, you know? Oh God, we're trying it on the other side. Here we go. My head is empty all of a sudden. No, we're not. Wait, wait, we're good. 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 Yeah, that's what people. That's what people come across my channel, and I'm like, I'm like, 30 minutes into this shit, give me a second, and then I do it. They're like, yeah, and I'll do it from the other side, and I'm like, fuck you, kiss my ass. <laughs> so what's some wild and shit? Why, why? Wait a minute. Why was that so broken? Oh, I know why this is. This is his one of his best things because this is safe. Does it even stand one punishable? It's fast, it's safe, completely safe. Okay, minus nine, holy shit. So I'd argue this is probably one of his best moves. If you want access to wild shit, you have to learn wall running dynamic entry. Don't, 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 don't start me with the crazy shit. All right, no, 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 no. That's like asking me to do that Jin Kazama, you know, dash up crazy horse shit without actually doing, you know, Zen. I, immediately I was like, I'm gonna do some hard shit, but am I doing that? Nah, I'm not doing that shit. <laughs> nah, whatever the fuck that is. How hard is the $100 gin combo? Is it as crazy as that fucking insane crouch cancel shit? Cause if so, I'm out. Want to learn Tekken as a beginner? Start with Korean backdash. That seems like the worst advice. To tell somebody the practice of Korean backdashing is the first thing you should do. And then your first match is against a king and he does rolling death cradle and you have no idea how to break it. And then you just die. <laughs> You're like, never played this game ever again. No, no, you need to just, just start playing. That's the best advice, right? Just start playing. Tekken is one of the best games that, what is what is the best advice to get good at this game? Just play it. Just play. Like there's there's so much to, there's so much to figure out that you just need to play it. Yeah, this is his crazy ass delayed hop kick. This is some virtual fighter looking shit. This literally looks like Akira is one of Akira's best starters. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do the most useless move in Tekken. Here, no, I found it. This is what this one's better. Sixty-eight damage. Right, but Oh, that one's way easier though. Right? That one's way easier though. I guess it's better for some reason. It's for when the wall is too close and you need to shorten the combo. I see. Okay, okay. So stuff like this. It's carrying way too far, right? So you don't get the fill of the combos and the screw attack, you might not get the ender. So what this is good is keeping yourself in one area as much as possible. I understand. I didn't understand the goal. I didn't understand the goal. So that makes sense. It's actually like less corner carry, right? Oh God damn, 74 damage? Wow, dude. Oh, you yeah, doll. Ho, ho, ho. Ah, I almost had it. I almost had it. 
Let's go! Let's go! Holy god damn! Do this from full screen on Hammerhead. Can we position ourselves at a certain part of the stage? Is that a thing? <laughs> Fuck, I don't know if it's gonna reach, dude. That's fucking insane, dude. That shit is insane. Oh my god. Oh shit. Oh shit. This 15 hit combo for like 94 damage. Good god damn! Good god damn! Push it even further! Push it even further now. What the fuck is the rage drive? Ah! Oh, I missed the button! <laughs> oh no. It's done! It's done! Shit took like 30 minutes! Good lord! 115 damage. 115 damage. Do it again? There we go. Took us a few more tries, but we got it. We got it. We got it. We got it. So what's the wild and damage, right? What is the thing that has like the biggest damage starter? Want this goof ass kick? What the hell do you do after this thing? It's not reliable though. Yeah, but whatever. Do back two, three after his rage drive one. Hold on a second. We're talking about this. Wow, 90 fucking damage? Yeah, I think I would like to eventually start playing Lars, right? Just like a little bit. Just fuck around with Lars and Jen every once in a while. Jesus, Jesus, I need a bigger stage. Oh no, is that, that, that can't be full distance. Wow, wow, man. This shit is fancy as fuck looking. Nice. Come on, man. God, 117 damage? Is that the new maximum? Holy shit, did we just get the biggest one? There's a lot to Lars, right? There's like an awful lot to this character. It's a much different experience than like, there's like three fucking Noctuses in this one dude. 
despite all of this, Lars is an easy character. Man, I don't know. I feel like I have to learn three Noctuses with this fucking guy. Lars shit has so, so many ins and outs to everything, you know? Just so much crazy shit. Damn, boy. Well, this has been very fun and educational, right? Yeah, let's go back and look at the Lars trailer. Let's learn a look at the trailer again with eyes unclouded by hate. Hold on a second. Yeah. But the what wall standing like one four or some shit? And this is new, right? Forward forward uh four goes into like two. And then you get entry, you get dynamic entry off of it. So wait, what the fuck? Dynamic entry two, probably one plus two or three plus four. Uh, oh, oh, we know this. Forward, forward, one plus two, counter hit. Nice, still in there. Run your ass forward, new shit. Crazy new heat move. And then dynamic entry two, big punch. We actually figured out most of what he's doing and what is new. And there's a lot of new shit in here. There's definitely a lot of stuff that he was not doing before. It looks fun. It looks like they're giving him more ways to get into dynamic and sil silent entry in general, right? I would like to become more familiar with this guy so that by the time we get some hands on with the game, I'll have a better understanding of what the hell to do, right? I'll have a better understanding of wh how do I even approach this guy from a, you know, a quick gameplay perspective. Leon fights the Ganados. <laughs> Fucking hate zombies. That's Ashley, all right. That's what she does. We made Leon, right? There we we made a Leon costume on uh, when we were playing Miguel. Don't worry, Ashley. I'm coming for you. Damn, that resplatting gives you full wall combo. Damn. Lars's face is weird as shit.